Hey there, it's Roslyn here, and I hope you're doing well. Today is the Team Tiny Autumn Hop, and I'm going to be doing a fall sunset card with this stamp set called Wonderful Woods by My Favorite Things. Here I'm pointing out that it has one two-step stamp here where it stamps the branches and the leaves separately, so you can do them in different colors if you'd like. And I'm using the stamp set here on my cardstock to just mark off where I want the base of some of these trees so that I know where to stamp these later on in my card. I just have a piece of heavyweight cardstock from Recollections here, and it's cut slightly bigger than an A2 size card. I'm going to be trimming it down later. I prepped the surface with an anti-static powder tool for embossing, and I'm taking the leaf stamp here from that one tree, and I'm stamping that with Versamark embossing ink and that's a sticky ink that you can use to, you, um, to use embossing powder with, and it'll stick to that ink and nowhere else. And since I didn't have little leaf stamps, I took out this Ranger Emboss It pen, and that's the same idea as the Versamark embossing pad there. And it just allows me to put marks on here anywhere I'd want for the embossing powder to stick. So I'm just making little dots around the trunks of my other trees of where those other trees are going to be go going. And I know it's hard to see here, but I will show you in a minute what that looks like before I get the embossing powder on it. And I'm just randomly placing these dots, these little leaf marks around the trunks of the trees because I really wanted to feature that one tree that it hasn't lost any of its leaves yet, but the rest of the forest has lost the trees have lost their leaves and the one big tree will be my focal point. So that's a great thing about this emboss it pen. You can really just emboss anywhere you'd like on your card. You can draw with it or put a sentiment on with it, however you like. And there's just a close up of all the embossing ink on my cardstock. So I chose to emboss this with gold embossing powder. This one's from Simon Says Stamp and it's an antique gold and I really love it. I thought it was nice for this fall card. I thought the gold would go perfectly with the colors that I chose to blend the background with. So after I get that cleaned up, I spilt a little bit of embossing powder here, so I took this lint roller, this sticky lint roller, and that's great to have in your craft room for these kind of spills. And I'm just gonna heat that up with my heat gun. So Team Tiny is a small group on Facebook that gets together once or twice a month, and we do card hops to help grow our channel. We're all under a thousand subscribers, so I'm hoping that you to get a chance to hop along the way. I'm going to get into my ink blending now. I'm taking these Catherine Pooler inks that I just received and they are from the Lux collection. And I'm taking a brush for each color here um, to blend that on my cardstock. I'm starting with the color Glitz. Now, these colors are just so luxurious, like so, um, decadent that I thought it was perfect for a lovely fall sunset scene. The next color here I'm using is Cranberry Fizz and I wasn't getting quite the blend that I wanted so I brought in the orange color which is called Flame and I'm just going to blend in between the Glitz and the Cranberry Fizz. So <clears throat> another word for these inks are these colors are regal. I really do think that they are lovely. The first uh, inks that I got in this, actually of Catherine Pooler inks um, ever was the Cranberry Fizz and the Deck the Halls that came out last winter. So these, this is the rest of the collection for that Lux line. The purple here is called Glam and I'm just blending that into the Cranberry Fizz. And for my next color, this is such a lovely turquoise green color. I can't even describe it, but when I, it's called Uptown. And when I blend that with the glam, it creates a beautiful blue in between. So I don't even have to pull in my blue 
ink to achieve that. And for the last color here, it's called Martini, and that's going to be my ground or what is representing my ground here in my little forest. And I'm just going to clean up my station here. And then I'm going to take this microfiber cloth, which I use to um, clean off my ink blending brushes. And I'm going to buff over top of the gold embossing powder. And that's just going to take away the color that was blended on. And it just, that embossing powder resists the ink and it's a beautiful gold again. Okay, next step is to stamp in the trees for my background. And I'm taking that stamp that goes with the leaves that are already stamped, position that over top, and I'm going to stamp that in my favorite black ink, which is Versifying Claire Nocturne. And that just stamps beautifully and super dark, so it'll show up on my darker background. So as you can see, it's stamped over top of the embossing powder, but I'm just going to carefully take this microfiber cloth and take off the ink that got on the embossed leaves. And the reason why I embossed first, then blended, and then I'm stamping my trees is that I'm a little impatient for ink to dry sometimes. So to avoid having to wait or having to dry um, the background, for the embossing, um, I did the embossing first. So I'm taking that other tree that has lost all its leaves and I'm stamping that in the same black ink and taking off the ink where it has stamped on the gold embossing powder. I'm taking a piece of packaging that was on my desk so that I can position that tree, the next tree that I'm going to stamp without having to clean my stamp and stamping that right where I have that pile of leaves at its base. And I, once again, taking that cloth and just wipe removing the ink that was stamped on the embossing part. I'm going to stamp the rest of my trees and then I will cut down my panel. So if you wanna hop along in this hop, you can go to my description or the title of this video and click on the hashtag Team Tiny Autumn Hop 2021, and that will take you to the rest of the hoppers here. And I wanted to wish all of my American crafty friends a happy Thanksgiving because that is right around the corner. We have had our Thanksgiving already here in Canada, but it's very much still fall here where I am and the leaves are holding on to the trees. Uh, they don't all want to fall yet. So I attempted to cut this with my deckled edge trimmer and it worked out fine, but I thought that for this card, I wanted more of a clean edge. So I took out my trimmer and I'm just going to cut that down to um, four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And I'm going to mount that on a piece of black card stock. I thought that tied in the black um, stamping nicely. And to keep this card simple, I am going to use a sentiment from the same set and it says with gratitude and I'm just going to position it here, see where I like it on my card and I think it's going to stand out most up in that yellow color up top. So I'm going to pop that back into my stamp positioner here or my stamp platform, I should say, and make sure that is as straight as I can get it. And I'm going to stamp that with the same uh, Versifying Claire ink. And I really, really love how that turned out. So after I get this on an A2 size card base, that will be it for my card. I'm hoping to be back with another video. Um, using this stamp set for winter, I really love the serene simplicity of this set. It's so versatile. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.